Yeah. Okay, here, here's Marnie, everyone. Say, say hi to Marnie. This is this is Marnie right now. You know. Free roll ads are on. Run a break to disable them. Well, okay, I guess love you too. Alright. On tonight's episode, we're going to be playing Arcades the Strategist. It is a defender-based commander. We're basically, all we're going to want to do is get a bunch of cards that have defender to just churn through the entire deck. And then eventually just swing in with all of them because we have cards like this beautiful, beautiful, where may she be? Da, 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 da. There she is. Assault Formation. Each creature you control assigns combat damage for its toughness rather than its power. It also has the green target creature control with defender can attack as though it did not have defender and two to green creature control get plus four, zero plus one. The benefit of this is simply put, we are able to get so much value out of this by drawing through the entire deck. Let's talk about the commander. We have Arcadia's Strategia. It is one in Bant. One of the very few Bant decks I've ever built. It is the 3-5 Elder Dragon with Flying and Vigilance. Vigilance is very key there. Whenever a creature with Defender enters the battlefield under your control, you draw a card. Then each creature you control with Defender assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power and can attack as though it did not have Defender. That is Assault Formation on crazy steroids this commander is such a value engine and we partnered this up with two lane in the 99 this two lane is a game same thing whenever you cast a creature spell you draw a card we're going to be just spiraling out of control with this deck and just getting serious serious value oh move my mic over hopefully people can have heard me so again we are playing arcadius the down there right arcadius the strategist we have a lot of defenders in this deck. A lot of them cost a very low amount of mana too, which is a great, great thing. So we're going to be able to draw through the deck very quickly and efficiently with no problems whatsoever. And we're going to have some just top end stuff like, where are they at? Rivers Rebuke. Like they're, bring all their stuff back to their hands. Farewell to re remove things. Dust Till Dawn. That's the biggest thing. Dust Till Dawn. I can't wait. Destroy all creatures with power three or greater. The power of this board is, I think the highest is the commander, I believe. I put in here? Yeah, so the highest power in this entire deck is the commander at three. Everything else is power one or two or zero. <laughs> so I'm pretty stoked about that. Oh, so technically Vivian makes three threes. I, I'm quite sincerely apologizing for that one. So you know the routine, we're going to play five games, see how well it plays out, give my quick review afterwards. So let's just get right into those gameplays and just see how well Arcadia the Strategist can play out. All right, move some stuff around. I hope everyone is having a great day and great night. All right, let's go over here. Our play. Rusko, I might play another Rusko tonight just because I want I, I want that to do well. Like it does very well, don't get me wrong, but like the problem I found with Rusko is it just builds and builds and then you just lose all your momentum. So you have nothing to do with it. It's kind of upsetting, but played a few more of the games today as well. While I was out uh, on my break during work. I wonder who we're gonna play out first. Games are pretty solid. We hit the 250 goal today. Pretty solid win there with the follows and the subs. We're up to five subscribers now. Hopefully we can get to 10 by the end of the month. That'll be pretty insanely epic. All right, opening hand. Nothing really. I'm gonna mulligan this. I do go first. Right, this is much better. I'm gonna play turn one as far as headquarters and then just go from there. This is unless you control a planes or an island. That's both planes and islands. That the tri lands are phenomenal lands. They always will be. We're facing an Ishkana Broodmother. It is the Drafting Spiders commander deck. It's a draft effect. It do drafting spells or conjuring spells is an arena only option. 
I like it a lot, personally, in Historic Brawl. It is definitely something I, like, like to see. But, who knows if it'll ever like, stick around due to the whole, like, it's on here only. People are kind of so-so about how they feel about it. My personal opinion, I love it altogether. In Historic Brawl itself. If you, like don't nerf them over and over and over again. I think that's what's causing the problem with these things. Like when you nerf a car over every single time, it gets pretty aggravating. Non-land. All right, I gotta get rid of the, the walking. Good turn one for them though. All right, they did get rid of the walking. Let's play Wall of Mist. I believe this is going to do really, really well because their spiders do have breach. That's the biggest thing about spiders. But they don't have anything really to, like, push through too crazily. Alright. More turtles. Love turtle builds. Sharex is one of my funnest decks to play. And it is the, like, the worst deck. It's a little crab tribal. Alright, third man in there. Hopefully I can draw a land. I got a rep ring out there. Did not draw a land, but I did get Tetsuko. We'll be good for later on. One land, I'm playing Arcadius. Because once I get that one land, I'm going to literally have 13 damage on the board. Freaking insane. This is probably going to be some removal on Tetsuko. Brings a little bit of a target because it is Tetsuko. I wouldn't mind if they did get a land, pay the two life. All right, swing house. All right, so I have game. It's turn five. Because Setsuko is going to allow these to swing in. Pretty insane, I'm not going to lie. They have to have some removal for my commander right now, otherwise... Which they very well have, yeah, see? We got Exile, Target, Artifact, or Enchantment. What the hell is the other stuff? Oh, it's Mountain Land Permanent, so take the action here. That's no problem at all. I have the shield. I'm going to, with the shield, go look for the one that taps for mana. Because I want to be able to, like, draw a lot of... Uh, I want to get a lot of mana to get the commander back out there. It goes in my hand as well, so take the action. Right, plenty of defenders. All right, so we want overgrown battlement. Just slow me down for a turn. Only two turns. I think we have that ring light coming soon because you see how dark this image is on my face. Hopefully, the audio though is still working pretty well. It's the overall hope when it comes to this. I do have a fateful absence. Hopefully, I'll be able to do something with that. All right. I got two cards from your graveyard. And we have, they do have the two in the bin right now. All right. Thrawn Spider. You, any time it gets... I'll make one. Okay. ETBs make, we each make a Power Stone. Top four cards, your library, reveal an artifact, and put it into your hand. The rest of the bottom of your library. Reasonable. All right, T-Pro. Got a battlement. You're not gonna have a counter, you first, you know? Uh, let's just kill the commander. It is giving them a, what do you call it? A clue token, but I'd rather like force it right now. All right, they are going to exile the two cards in the graveyard. I think it's so they can draft a uh, card.
All right, swing with that to go. All right. behind me just going eight on everything all right what are you playing web spinner that's that had to have been something that was drafted equip creature gets plus four plus oh, one plus one plus four in reach all right and they sack and then they give up all right turn one's a victory was it really a victory though because they didn't really do anything you know? Alright, so right now we're 1 and 0. Good start. Right, let's go to game number 2 and see how we do. Okay, opening. This card's so crazy. Arming Gala. Alright, I go first. So I'm going to put down the Temple Garden tapped. Interlarian, unless you control all forest around, so that's going to be untapped as well. But we're facing a Chandra Torch of Defiance. It's probably a burn deck. That's my most thought process to this. Alright, Faith is Looting, Prowess. Is it only the source of non combat damage? Okay, non combat. It's already two lands. Wow. Make sure you wonder what they have. I'm not gonna block. That seems silly. All right, get forest. Cast Carven Caryatid. We have Spars Headquarter. Can't do anything because it's Defender. And then next. All right, to the Maze Mine Tome. Resolve all. All right, pass. They don't swing this time. Interesting. All right, Sparse headquarters. Birth of Miletus. All right, go look for a forest. That may have been the wrong play. Simply because I could have swung a little bit more. Can't do anything with it, so pass through. All right, put it down, uh, strike one. Tome's really good, it really, honest to God. Good versatility, and once it has enough, it does replace itself with some life. Plus it's up, up to four, you know. Alright, Chandra comes down, Prowess. Alright, resolve all for this. You do two damage to that? Oh, four damage to it. Interesting. I'm going right for that. Interesting. I kind of didn't think they were going to do that so quickly. Alright, make a colorless wall to. Bender. The tap down, so I think this is the right time to do this. Because you got a creature in your hand, library, and graveyard. So they're all going to get a little bigger, like is it 1 4, 1 6, you know? It also affects these guys too, which is pretty crazy. And that's one of the coolest things that like, it also affects on the board as well. So you're literally getting every single thing, you know? All right. If they get this looting, that's a good sign. They do not. What the heck is this thing? Maniform Hellkite. Give me a... Oh, it's going to make a bunch of things. No bueno. 
not the worst bueno, but no bueno. Thankfully, it exiled it, so it's not like a stacked effect with uh, these damn dragon things. Alright, so we have... Mana value 4 or greater. Uh, kinda wanna... Alright, get this. That out there. I they might block it. All right, they do block it, so that, that removes something at least. All right, these all get buffed up. I think that this right now is going to probably win me the game. In all honesty. Because look at this. This is already 2-7. So if I'm able to... Because this is 14 plus 12 is 26. If they don't play a creature... Got a lane, which is not great for us. All right, then they scoop. That's because they didn't have anything. Two and out. So, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. If you are just joining now, we are playing Arcades the Strategist in Historic Brawl. Right now, we are two and zero. Oh. It's been doing well, but we haven't really had a, a strong opponent in all honesty. So we're just basically trying to see what's to happen with this. All right, so opening hand. I go first again for the third time in a row. Interesting. Uh, these are too high. I'm gonna mulligan this down. Mulligan. Uh, scry, tapped. It'll be a little slow, but the heck is this little thing? Forest on the top. Keep the forest. Oh, it's a home thing. All right. They didn't play anything on turn one, so I'll, I'll be able to play the Scattered Grove early. High alert, potentially. All right, now I'm just going to do this. So, I did another tap land, but I'm not too worried about that one because with the tap lands, I can play out because they haven't done anything. We are facing an Urza. All right, so let's do this. This will aggravate them. All right, lost all of its abilities. Welcoming Vampire. So now, okay, I love this card, the Patriarch's Humiliation, because once it's out there, you remove all the abilities of it, and it just does nothing. All right, Guardian Project comes out. That's into the battlefield. Swing this into the two. Because we had that so early, we probably won solely because of that. All right, rep ring. I've seen a lot of replication rings in the last couple of days. All right, a millstone. Sure. All right, let those go down. All right, strategist comes down now. I'm gonna draw one card. Planes, it just tapped. I don't want to swing in over here, so I'm just gonna swing with the two, three in the air. Because if they let Urza die, they can recast the Urza. Always keep in mind with that when you are playing like spells like this. Chromatic Ori. All right, then. And a Paradox Engine. It's begun. All right, so. Riddle Effigy. Well, I don't know why I said that. Wicker Wig Effigy. Draw three. One, two, three. Didn't get a single... So we'll put them down to some more. The problem right here is this. The Chromatic Ori with the Paradox Engine is going to do a lot right now. Jinkataxis. I'm somewhat okay with that because it doesn't have flying. 
And it's only non-creature, so they're the end of the world. They only have three cards in hand. We have Emery. Mills land, land, Tezzeret, land. Two cards in hand. Draws three. Forgot about that one. <laughs> All right. Aether Flux. I'm going to die fast. Because now they have two. <laughs> okay, so. Game, I believe. All right, let's cast like one spell, they win. Not 11 mana. What the hell is that thing? Uh, this is a copy of an artifact. That's three reservoirs now. Draw cards. All right, play one spell and you win. All right, wait for it, wait for it. Ready? Death. Holy hypers. So again, Paradox Engine is what did it for us. So. Opening. We're, who are we facing here? Right now, I can mulligan this. Okay. I can work with this. Turn one, two, three. Alright, land. Spara. I feel this is a good path. Alright, Crydell. Uh, yeah, Crydell sounds good right now. All right, put that there. This, uh, no, this one. If I can get this down next turn, I might do Cigna and Birth. Because next turn, it'll get, all right, Rogues. I did get it out of the way. Okay, so let's do... All right, that. Make that nothing and drop this down. All right. This is probably one of my favorite cards they've ever printed. Because <laughs> it does a lot of work. Okay, it's a rogue build. All right, take six. to destroy this. They get a land, but it removes the thing that's going to potentially get a lot, lot bigger. What land are you getting? Let's go look for green. I'll go with a green source. Alright, next. Pass through the turn. I could swing in. Right, we'll just swing in with the 3-5. 
because I don't want to. No, I was saying earlier, I don't want them to use to block this. Because I'm just sitting there. Alright, end the turn. I have a T Pro. Uh, this combination will leave a target permanent from the player's graveyard. Land. If they do a full swing, I'll just T Pro. Magic right now is crazy. All right, we have one more interest to come and play to create a treasure token. Okay. Pass. Swing full. Just the one. Do I want to do this now? So he's gonna get like a land. That's fine. No worry for this. It takes a lot. Okay, that's what I thought. Which is perfectly fair. Get more ramp, you know? Hopefully, I could draw something to start going. Ooh, you Bargoth. My turn. Did not draw. Put this on blue. Dry one. Another land. Jeepers, cripers. Alright, swing it with this. Get another three. Let them just do a bunch of spells, and then I'll see pro. draft something right or oh, whatever an island or okay it's the other way around uh swing full let them activate it and then i'll t pro which i don't want them to activate don't get me wrong but like kind of having a choice that result very fast Interesting. What up, Eric? I'm playing Arcades. It is the big ass defenders. And I'm drawing literally nothing. You should you missed the last one a minute ago. I faced our Urza and it went off. They had a chromatic ori with what the hell is it? Aether Flex Reservoir and a Paradox Engine. I literally just got wrecked. Hopefully I can draw something instead of more lands. I listened to it. I was driving home from the shop when I played Commander. Oh, and I saw the card you pulled. Good, good shit on that. Well, def definitely sounds not bad. No attacks. Yeah, it was very solid getting a time spiral in there. I moved my computer, so now it's... uh. Instead of a cart next to the window, it's directly in front of the door. Like, I want to obviously block some stuff, but this is just silly. Now I'll do... That'll block this. Take the land. I don't want this to die. That'd be very unfortunate. Alright, Zareth, San. It's more land, it's in the treasure. All right, what does Crydel do? Yeah, it's, it's a mill, that's what I thought. It's a land, they draft a spell. 
book. Yeah, people aren't really getting anything good at the boxes. Everybody that bought boxes tonight, I just bought a pack. That's good. Yeah, I, I'm, I fear that it's going to be like the, the this print run, the, for the initial print run is going to be like so so. Oh, create a giant thing. All right, so it's Rather Bus. Okay, cycle this. All right, draw a card. More lands. Yeah, good game. I one was unfortunate. Didn't draw anything, you know. All right, so opening no white. All right, who are we facing? Delina. Again, crazy shenanigans with this one. All right, put this on green and put Saruki out there. Saruli, I mean. Sleeves are pretty cool. All right, Bloodthirst and Cider. Give something haste. Did not draw a white source. A little unfortunate. Removal already? Or just reading it? I think they have removal already. Interesting. Lava coil on that was... Seems a little too early to use a lava coil. Someone honked. All right. All right. Plundering Barbarian, ETB, make a treasure, I would assume. Yep. Give it hit. Uh, it's just waiting for the one. Okay. Okay, so I did get this. It's. I thought that that was a forest. So I was like, oh, I got one now finally. Hurrah! Was not a forest. Okay. We got a copy the lean, I'm assuming. Yeah. Let's see what they roll. Seven. No, twelve. It was a seven. Hell yeah. You get one of those, you get another treasure. Swing in for several. Alright, so. Ornithopter Paradise. All right, secret door. I'll play this with the door. Yeah. All right, Sublime Epiphany is not bad. Unfortunately, not going to be able to cast it. Is there one artifact? Yeah, so they'll probably destroy one. What is this? Creates two tokens. They might copy that, you never know. Give it haste. If they wanted to swing with that one, I'll be fully okay with that. Go to 12, 10. Makes one copy, rolls another die. Blocked here, blocked there. Take four. And a 12. Defender. Draw bridge. Atawara. As much as I want to do it for that. Take the action. 
All right, what is a good blocker? That is the right choice, I think. Yeah. All right, and then Miria's call. It's a 4-4, a 4-4, and a 3-3, top of a 3-5. Right, Delina comes back down, gives it haste. Interesting how they're just swinging it with... Well, it's begun. Two. That is two of my cards, creatures. Three of them. So there goes my three artifacts. That's bullshit. It honest to God is. Right, that's pretty effing bullshit. Not gonna lie. So I killed all those. Killed the Lena again. Go down to three. Those are all gone. All right. Get that draw a card. Get that, draw a card. Can't cast this, ironically. That destroys that. Get this tapped, and just tapped. Vigilance swing the F3. The Lena costs eight. Squee puts me at one. Oh, they just swing full house. Never mind. A little upset how they literally got all three, killed all three. All right, ended up two and three. We're going to do one more with this one. Hopefully, it gets a little more value out of her itself. All right. Don't remember. Nethroy is a good one. All right. That's pretty cool. We've got Mill. Other shenanigans. Yeah, I can't do anything with this. Free Mulligan. I'll work with this. There's one, two, three, and then four. Nope, Spara. Good draw on that one. Arcane Signet. Let's hopefully the next one. It fights and then I can basically get a bunch of stuff out of it. Looks fine on my end. Is it too dark though? Because I'm looking at the stream and it looks too dark. Alright, White Mare. Alright, Golden Guardian. Makes a bunch of 4 fours. I remember playing that one next line was a thing. Right, all three dogs are out and they're being nightmares. Alright. Game life gain that much like plus one. Uh they cast the top. Why can't I fight anything? It's another target who should you can oh you control, okay. Like, why is she not doing anything? Doesn't look dark on stream. Okay, that's not bad. I got a ring light coming in. I was like, I just gotta do it. Get the ring light. All 
All right. Cobra Ready Storm. Oh, and I have all the custom cards ready to go for my two, whatchamacallits, pauper decks. At this point, I'm wondering if I need to bring a bunch of pauper decks to uh, Philly. Hi, little nightmares. Hey, Willow. Yep, here's Willow. Yep, Willow. Go sit down. Morning, go sit down. All right, Wreck Tower. That makes it a fender. Pop that down. Oh, wait, ETBs? Oh, even greater. All right, no. Yes, attacks. Why not? All right, nothing's got two in the band, just lands. Nothing too crazy there. All right, Gala Greeters. As what's going on with this uh, Nethrite player? Then we have a Leonin Vanguard. Gotta gain some life. All right, Doom Scar Oracle. Get this. Draw some more cards. And just draw a bunch of cards. Just makes it easier at this point. Just draw a boatload of cards. Alright, swing with the flyers. They might jump over there. Alright. I'll rebuild. Well, the desk want to set the check with the old lady for Saturday stream. Not a worry. Right, it's a life game. There. Okay, so it's a Nethrite life game. Yeah, basically. Show up on my own channel instead of the channel that I wish I was on. Alright. Let's do. Guardian Project. We do Cock Ridge. Draw three cards. One, two, three. Resolute Watchdog. Draw cards. Three goes out there now. Unblockable, right? Yeah. And we have. Da -da 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 -da. This one. Let's do Crescent. I draw a card, I draw a card. Swing these three. They're gaining some life though, so they are, they are kicking through. All right, Good. tap treasure token. They made a changeling, so they made a blocker. Rigo is next, and that's game, so. Alright. Maybe not, though, because they are getting a lot of life. Alright. Up to 33. Up to 36, up to 39. Land, turtle, draw three. Mist, draw two. Rego, draw one. No, and I want grappling. Draw two. Activate this. Swing house. 
Alright, let's force him to do it. Uh, I, I thought those were like multiple creatures that did that. I also thought it was like a Tetsuko effect. That's my mistake. thinking what to do. You kind of have to block everything. In theory. Alright, that brings him down to 15. Gain a lot of life right now. Right, Seventeen, nineteen, a Starion. Ooh, good one. Good hit. Is it a targeted ability or? Target upon. Okay, so I have Hexproof, so they can't hit me with that. Solid. They are getting a lot of life, though. Completely left to staring. No, I'm going to block it. Alright, one blocker. Best if they just gain the life. They gain 22. They just gain uh, several life. Okay. Well, the ruins. Draw three. Right at the bottom. Right, I need a Tetsuko. Bad. Uh, put this on blue. Suspicious bookcase. Draw two. Uh, where is it? Murmuring Phantasm. Uh, walking. Draw two. We'll put Kenrith here. Draw a card to land. See if I can get more out of it, you know. I got two lane. All right, nineteen, take one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All right, haste to everything. Swing full out. I got a T pro. Not bad. Eighty one life right now, it's insane. Alright, they only blocked two of them. Brings another twenty nine, then up to thirty one. I have a T Pro, so I'll T Pro afterwards. What's the count on that? It's sixteen. No, they just gained the life. Kind of, I think they should have put the, the counters on it. Oh. 
Secondo. You can't swing into it, so you're nethroing on this one. What do you bring back? Just the one thing. Like, I kind of want to be okay with that. No, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Because I did that ability. Swing it right at me? That's fine. Swing at me. Not swing at me. You're 45. I have literally how many cards in my hand? 28 cards in my hand. They didn't do anything. Alright, land. Overgrown arch. I'm gonna I'm gonna like mill through my entire deck before. I find Tetsuko. Right, look at the top cards. We have three, four remaining. All right, activate this, and then swing again. And see what happens. Block on the 5-5. Five, five. Fine. This is till your next turn. So you're going to need to block a lot of things to survive. That's an instant, right? Yeah. This might do it. Really hoping it does. They're just blocking the whole lot of it all. Interesting. All right, tower defense. Anything else I can do? No. All right, let's see what this does. First strike resolves. We're at 24. Full board wipe. But I don't have enough of the T Pro. If there's a wrath, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> I think I'd genuinely be aggravated. Alright. So they, they're going to Netheroy right now. It makes the most sense for them. We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 mana. Like, I would have done this first. But like, now you're dead. You know? Pass. My turn. Enjoy this. Any other buffs? In some life. Where's my other thing that can do the thing? Uh, formation. Alright. Resolve this. Fine. Salt formation. 
All right, there we go. All right, three and three. Not that bad. Let's go to my review and see how I feel about it. I like this deck a lot. Overall, it did very, very well. I did the deck like a three and a half, four out of five. Very easy to play out because defender creatures are super inexpensive. If you want to build this deck in paper, the overall high end, for example, like if you want to put like two lane in there or like Seagate or Turn Timber, like these are things you could always add down the line. Arcadius himself is not that expensive whatsoever. The deck has a lot of like just churning through the entire deck very quickly and very effectively. So even though you uh you saw in the last couple of games, there wasn't anything really going on in a sense other than just like draw, 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 draw. But you were able to get through the entire deck very, very effectively to get to the things that you specifically need to do. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Tetsuko in the other game, so I like lost that route. But I still you can still do very well. The MVP is definitely crashing drawbridge. I this is the first time experience of like doing crazily well with the crashing drawbridge uh 100 recommend if you're doing something like this because it out of the blue you give everything haste and just swing house like crazy so if you're definitely going wide it's definitely worth with the crashing drawbridge in there because out of the blue you can just swing it up like crazy more damage all right so that was my quick play on arcadia search Artegis. we're going to go on a break in just a moment and come back and play some more this is the end of the video for you my name is Chris from One More Game MTG. The website is OMG MTG for all the links and the whole nine yards. Please remember to subscribe and follow me because it means a lot to me. Thank you very much, very, very much for watching. Peace to y'all. So, if you're sticking around, I'm going to put a five to ten minute timer on there. Let's put five minutes on the clock. Let's put ten. Let's put ten so I can catch up on the whole nine yards. And we'll be back in just a bit.